So what does... What does Ankenomia look like now that I haven't finished the storyline? Does it just go back to what it looked like previously? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll never find the end of that story. I didn't like re-exploring anyway. Kasanin. Ah, traveler. Right on cue. <laughs> Why is that funny? Hey, Catherine! Got any new commissions for us today? Um, also, how come you look so happy to see us? What have you done? What? Doesn't she always look happy to see us? I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. The shrine maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. Mm. Catherine? Drawing fortune slips at the shrine? Uh, is it just Paimon, or is that the most unusual thing ever? Why is that unusual? Just because she's a clone slash robot, guys, I have no idea what the hell she is, but... That doesn't make her undeserving of a shrine fortune slip, or not that she doesn't want it. I just noticed she's got a key on the back of her, um, key hole on the back of her neck piece. Wait, no, that's not the unusual part. We're in Lila. You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? Yeah, again, clone slash robot situation thing. I wasn't going to question the fact that she was going to Inazuma, or one of her was going to Inazuma. <laughs> <laughs> Even I have a private life, you know. Okay, so when you say unexpected reunion, you mean running into us, right? Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I cross paths with today. That's kind of a sweet sentiment. <clears throat> I actually like that. Sorry, one of the uh, lingering symptoms of COVID is that I'm just flummy to all hell. So I'm coughing, sniffing, blowing my nose, and it's, it's affecting the way I talk. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do much about that. Even though we see each other pretty much every day. <laughs> Not in this game, sense. we don't. <laughs> Not in Misha's game. Wait, what is the traveler? The traveler doesn't even look at it. Traveler, eyes up. Can you please look at the person you're talking to? An expert of you. Know. Wait, are you saying? Oh, Paimon gets it. Well, let's just hope the shrine maiden was right. It's not us who has the uh, surprise reunion. It's her. Fingers crossed we find him. It's not like a daily fortune slip for everybody. It's Catherine's fortune slip. It's got nothing to do with you and your brother. Why does it have to be about you and your brother? I'm sorry. Did I say something I shouldn't have? You both seem a little down. It sounds like Catherine's voice actress is not doing her recording in a studio for this particular dialogue. She's doing it from home and she has a bad uh, microphone or at least doesn't have a, a pop filter to fix her plosives because she's getting a lot of uh, distortion in the when she talks. Nothing. Anyway, back to business. Do you have a new commission you want to give to us? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a miner. It seems to be related to investigating the chasm. See, you hear that on the S's? Um, it, it just sounds quite distorted, so I don't like it. Really? Does this mean the chasm's not sealed off anymore? I like a Paimon just like treats it like it's law it's already there we totally know about the chasm already and i'm just like eh <laughs> i will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details his name is yue Hui, and he should be at the chasm right now okay all right then thanks catherine we'll head there right away okay very well ad astra abyssosk hmm. this time you are truly bound for the abyss Good luck to you both. The abyss is in another plane of existence, lady. It's in a very pleasant plane of existence, either. Rakum of the Echoing Depths. I'm so not walking there. Fly down from Aziz Mountain. It should get Vigrosa. Let me go from there. This way. In the mortal world at times like these, is it not customary to use an umbrella? Yep, it is. But, you know, umbrella's not part of the game, so rip. How far are we going to get, is the question. This tower is depleting very quickly. Oh, 
some music. Keep going. Get louder. You're too faint. Oh, bugger. Gotta deal with you. I can escape through you. I like that option. Except it got no sprint, so, you know, we might just have to jog around you. Oh, really? Okay. Oh no. No, 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 sir. Keep your hands to yourself. I'm looking at all the mining facilities. There are a lot of hilly shells here. Like, a lot. Is this isn't closed. Oh, I suppose the chasm was sealed off, wasn't it? Why was it sealed off out of curiosity? I hope you're giving me this information. Um. Up or am I going? I think I'm going through here. Looks a little official like. Gentlemen. And Tia Hong and Tianyi. Halt. The chasm is sealed off. If you're an outsider, please. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Tia Hong. Your name is not familiar. I really don't think I've met you before. Oh, no, run. Oh, wait. The only reason we were in trouble with the Middle-earth was back when they thought that we had something to do with uh, Rex Lapa's dying. And that's already been solved. And we're like goddamn heroes of Leo again. What do you mean we've been recognised time to scoot? You know me? Okay, this is better. Sorry for scaring you. Of course I remember you. How could I forget the person who saved my life? Tia Hong. Name is so not familiar. I was recently transferred here myself. Didn't think I'd meet you here. Because I'm a lucky guy, yeah? Are you even going to tell me how we met? We saved you. Did we do that? Oh, come now. I was at the Jade Chamber when we... Oh, okay. So it's not him specifically. Got it. We fought that sea monster together. I was slightly injured and only returned to my post recently. So you mean the female, not the male. Ozeal. Asile's wife. Wife? Partner? Hmm. You might not remember me, but I never forget you. All of our comrades who fought that day witnessed what you did for Liwa. Good. It's about time somebody gave me some goddamn recognition. Could you tell me a bit about the chasm? Two years ago, an unknown incident occurred deep within the caverns and the Qixing gave the order to close the place. The miners were largely evacuated to safety. Now, can you... What do you mean by unknown incident? Someone has to know about the incident if the Qixing have closed it off. Which is a shame that such a huge mine ceased production. Just like that. The workers took the compensation and went their separate ways. Once such a gathering of people is dispersed, I fear it may be difficult to get them back together again. Um, sorry, I got a bit off topic there. Um, you didn't really. I believe that you must be here on important business, so I won't bother you any further. If you have any questions, just ask Minling directly. You should be at the campsite at the mine entrance. And also, uh, it's not that I don't trust you or anything, but it's my job to remind you to not do anything that breaks the law. Dude, I don't even know what the law is in Leoa, so that's going to be a bit difficult. Don't worry, you can trust us. Come on. <clears throat> so somebody has to know what happened down in the mines because otherwise it wouldn't have been closed in the first place but why is Muning back here why is it so silent oh, we are going up I thought we are going down because it's a mine but there's a uh, waypoint over there yeah, it's pretty, because we came here at the right time of day. What the hell's that? That's new. Wait. Is that magic? Going off in directions? Every Elden Ring. Oh, here we go. New music. Oh, and a side quest. Even though we're like practically at max pens. Hey, I said confirm. Oh, it did. I thought it disappeared when I got out. Who is this person anyway? You're not meaning, are you? Oh, uh, we're probably going to be doing yours anyway through this quest. Anyway, you I actually don't know how to pronounce your name. You were. You were. They were saying really weird. Like, oh, I didn't get it. Are you going to. Yes! Yeah, hui. That's We've been sent by the Adventurer's Guild. 
accent's kind of weird, but genuinely know how to pronounce it. I'm going to have to go with it. Ah, great. Good to meet you. Yes, I was the one who posted that commission. You look like every other generic muscular dude in Leoa. Wait a second. You look kind of familiar. Are you a famous adventurer or something? But what'd that have to do with you? Then let's focus on the task at hand. Oh, uh, all right, then. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Uehue, a miner, and I received a mining permit for the chasm just recently. I have a handful of other guys in my crew. Yeah, Uehue sounds better than Hui, which is what Paimon's saying. Seriously? They actually give permits out for the chasm? Yes, the folks over at Yujing Terrace finally came to their senses and are now allowing a limited amount of ore mining near the surface. We were among the first to gain approval. Yeah, but who knows what happened to make it close in the first place? It seems like it was something bloody important for you to have closed the entire mine. And if that's the case, why are you now letting people back into what is presumably a dangerous situation? Something's not adding up. But some things have happened recently that put all the miners on edge. Really? What happened? We haven't heard anything. So, it's hard to say exactly how big of an issue it is. Could be something, could be nothing. The main thing is that it's just very strange. Sorry, I was just thinking about accents. It would have been cool if they had English speakers with the accents of the relevant countries doing the voice acting. So in Mondstadt, yes, that's Germanic, isn't it? Something like that. You'd have like Germanic accented English voice actors. Uh, in Leo, you'd have uh, Chinese accented English voice actors. In, in, in Azuma, you would have Japanese accented English voice actors. That would have been cool. It would have given a touch that made every single land feel different and unique. Ugh, oh, why is it opportunity? Well, one of the miners was on a break. He suddenly noticed a few hilly trolls walking And it would make way. the travelers stand out more, They seemed like FYI. they were in days or something. Oh, really? They walked right by him without giving him a single glance. They just made a beeline for the depths of the castle. Oh, so there's some sort of calling happening. After that, the miners started observing his surroundings more closely and noticed the same thing happening time and time again. Yet the humans weren't susceptible to this? Are the hilly trolls just curious? Maybe they just want to take a peek inside? They, they would have attacked first on the way through. <sighs> Not likely. The strange part is that in all the time this miner's been watching the hilly trolls, he's never seen any of them come back out. Oh, I figured. It seems to be a one-way trip. Once the hilly trolls go in, they never emerge again. And it seems to be happening more and more frequently as of late. Are they feeding something? Are they being lured in and serving as fodder for some creature? Well, I would start questioning uh, why it closed two years ago. I would be sending people back to Liwa Harbour to, you know, chat to the Chishing and find out what the hell happened in the past because that may inform what's happening now. That's a smarter idea than sending an adventurer in to examine the killer child business because you might get the answers you seek without placing yourself in danger. But hey... The game's not going to go down that way. We're totally just going to throw ourselves into the chasm. So, whatever. These are the kinds of thoughts going through the guys' heads now. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Uh, Paimon's not surprised. Paimon feels spooked just hearing about it. I don't dare imagine what's going on inside the chasm. Strange is definitely the right word. Exactly. The deepest fear is the fear of the unknown, you mm -hmm. know? I do. So we have to get to the bottom of it before everyone can put their minds at rest. I've already told you the safest way to do it, but you won't listen to me. Uh, <laughs> do we... Do we really want to take this commission? <laughs> um, thanks, Mr. Miner, sir. Uh, we need to consider it first. <laughs> uh, should not be capitalized. We'll take it. Hey! You can at least pretend to consider Paimon's opinion first! Why? You do absolutely nothing but flutter around uselessly. When strange things happen like this... Yeah, transposed. I'm inclined to think the abyss order is involved. Oh, so that's where you're coming from. Hmm. Well, okay then. Maybe we will find some clues about your twin. Honey, we're going to find out nothing until we get to the seventh land. You'll really regret it if you don't go, huh? So, what's your verdict? Will you take the commission? No pressure, but I gotta say, I'm not loving the prospect of my mining permit going to waste. Yeah, that must have been a fortune. Yep, we'll take it. We're kind of 
curious ourselves now, too. You're not wrong. Ah, oh, great. You're doing me an enormous service here. Now, let me give you the rough location that the hilly trolls keep heading to. See, see. Hey, let's just go jump into danger. Let's not take a second and do some research that will just take a few hours tops. Let's just go risk life and limb. <sighs> Nobody has their brain screwed on straight. Uh, problem is, we need to get there. To get this, uh, all un, uh, Mr. Bade. It's so far away, though. Uh, underground mines. What does it actually want me to do? Oh, just enter the chasm. Okay. Wait, where's my... Do I not have a quest marker? What? There's, there's no quest marker. Well, I, well, I'm going to go around. If I can figure out how to do that without jumping into the mines. Great. Although I will admit to being curious about whatever the hell this is. The magic swelling around it. What is this? Um. Is this one of these things where I need a Geo character? I, I don't. I don't know what this is. I genuinely don't know what to do with this. Hold on, there's a sign here. Question hall warning sign. Key site, bedrock key up ahead, no unauthorized access. Those who damage this structure will invite the person or wrath of the Qixing. If you have any questions, direct them to specialist... Ah... Uh... Minning! The fuck is this? Can you please tell me? Huh? I didn't plan to see you quite so soon, but you know. Oh, what are these? So many things I don't know what to do with. I, I don't know what to do with that either. It seems a little beyond me. No idea. Minning! Oh wait, doesn't this thing go in there? And the light thingy goes into there? Yeah, see, I remember. After not remembering the first time this came up. Yay! That only took a few seconds as opposed so, to Googling like I had to Google last to time. Treasure. I call that improvement. <laughs> oh shit, how do I get up? Oh, I could take the staircase like a normal human being. Completely missed that before. Meaning, can you please tell me what the uh, the the thingy is? Even though I really want to get to the statue of the seven, but you know, this thing is also right here and taunting me, so I want to know that. Let me get this off my map since we're actually doing it. New, new, new. The pin. Delete. Talison, a bard. Hi, Tally. Hmm, no, no, that's not how it goes. According to the genealogy. Oh, oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Ew. Shh. <clears throat> she comes, she comes. Her eyes bright as the moon, inimitable. Her armor formidable, invincible. She is. Blonde. What? Sorry, force of habit. I just slipped out, you know. What? What sort of habit is that? Serious, it lacked creativity in the extreme. Mm, Paimon supposes that the nickname could be uglier. Hey! Well said, good Paimon, well said. She's the golden-haired Lunara. I object to these terrible-sounding, non-consensual appellations. <laughs> apologies, apologies, I did not mean to offend, but more old-school poets from Mondstadt do tend to begin like that. Old school? Well, if you let me clarify, I don't mean old school folk songs like the dandelion madrigals or old school romances like marriage, you cheat, how I hate thee. I'm referring to old school historical epic poetry. And what might that be? Ah, uh, simply put, it is the adaptation of heroic genealogies, the adding of flesh and skin atop the skeletal flame <laughs> frame of history. 
His epics sing of history through long-form poetry, awakening people to the knowledge of times past. Well, there you have it. The epic and its value to society. The ability of poetry to awaken historical consciousness was precisely why it was banned all those years ago by the aristocracy. What? Why would the aristocracy want to ban historical consciousness? That makes literally zero sense. They feared that we would recall our former freedom and our history of... Res oh, right. This is Mondstadt we're talking about. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Still kind of warped and weird, but sure. And that is why I despise the popular poetry of the day and seek to revive these old school epics. I see. Bye. <laughs> I'm right then. See you, Golden Head Lunara. Actually, this is actually getting quite interesting. Is, is there any follow up? Oh god, we have to go through this whole thing again. This is kind of annoying. I thought there'd be like different dialogue, not the exact same thing twice. It's so long. I also thought that it would be more, but there isn't. Kind of sad. Minning! Can you tell me how to use this shit? Yo. He's not going to be voiced, is he? Mm. Okay, he's a specialist from the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Ten crates of meat, ten crates of vegetables. <laughs> Sorry, vegetables just reminds me of um, Death on the Nile. I finally watched it the other night. And um, Ted Brando's Poirot is hilarious. Veggie tables. <laughs> So he pronounces it, it's great. Various amounts of firewood and camping equipment to be given to the middle of outpost. Three crates of various ores to be sent to the Huishan Hall warehouse in exchange for spare parts for tools in various amounts. All right, so for making you wait, what do you need? Ah, oh, it's you. Bruh, if I've met you ever in my life, I do not recall. Eh, since when will we be all that familiar with you? Finally. It's great that Paimon's picking up on this. I mean, you are the heroes who saved Leoa. Your deeds are remembered by us all. Since you're here at the chasm, it's funny how he's like really neat and tidy, and then you look at his hair. It just seems so incongruous. Uh, anyway, since you're here at the chasm, you must be here on some important business. In which case, I'm sure you must have a permit from Lady Clushing, right? Yeah. Totally. Uh, we don't. Really? I mean, sorry to trouble you, since you must be very familiar with Lady Ningguang. A permit from her might hold still more weight. C could I see it, please? <laughs> we don't have that either. We go wherever we please. Is that a lift or is that just a pulley? Well, the Lord Tianxu is reclusive yet approachable. And also has great vision and the good of the people at heart. Surely he was the one who gave you permission to enter the chasm then. Uh, no, just the Adventurers Guild. Maybe? In that case, would you mind letting me see your papers? Yeah. Huh, I guess you don't have that either. Well, Ms. Ganyu works at Yuding Terrace, supporting the teaching directly, so I'm sure her opinion will be in the lockstep with theirs. You at least have her permission, don't you? Why is he so adamant about seeking permission? Like, Jesus, dude, chill. Actually, you know what? We could just ask Ganyu to sign off on this. I can uh, go look for her right now. So, you've come at a bad time. This is really not the season to be visiting the chasm. Pfft, is there any season to be visiting the chasm since it's been closed? The Ministry of Civil Affairs is still working on eliminating a great safety hazard within, so this is still very much a danger zone. That's great. Can you tell me what the bloody hazard is instead of talking around in riddles? If you've been commissioned by some merchant to urge us to open the mine faster, then I suggest you read the report I submitted to Shang Lu Hall carefully. Uh, what's this person talking about exactly? Can you tell me more about the chasm? <clears throat> right, so about the chasm. <clears throat> if you don't intend to leave just yet, you're free to explore the area a bit. But please do keep your actions within the remit of Leo's laws and statutes. Again, I don't know what they are, so it's hard to abide by the law that you don't know. I should mention, though, that there is a place that I highly recommend you avoid, i.e. the most interesting place in the mine. For example, the great mine in the center of the chasm has had a seven-star array cast over it. Ah, that must be the light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Uh, de de de, by which I mean exactly what I say. It is a seal placed over the area by the Qixing. Well, that's quite the clear explanation. As for the weak, <coughs> I mean, focal points of the array, it lies in the bedrock keys surrounding the area. These are placed by the Qixing themselves. Connected in a series, they affix the energy flowing through the array. The area around the bedrock keys has seen an abnormal amount of geo-elemental coalescences. It's almost as if the thing beneath yearns to finally emerge. 
Ugh, never mind me. I was just talking to myself. So yes, that's how things are. Please do not. And I repeat, do not. Go near the seven star array and don't even think about going down there to explore. The bedrock keys are definitely not losing structural integrity, and the surrounding areas are most certainly not plagued by any strange or elemental convergences. So please, don't you think of doing anything at all. The way he says it is like he's telling me to do it. I know what you're going to ask. There are most certainly no precious treasures down there, nor are there any prehistoric fossils to be had. And banish any thoughts you had about giant ancient ruins. Yes, please do not bear any fruitless expectations toward this place. The way you're saying all this is super suspicious. Not even mushrooms will grow down there, nor are there wish-granting stones, and there are definitely no sailors who grow strong just by eating mushrooms. Again, do not get your hopes up. Oh uh, yeah, sure, there's no need to be so fierce. Anything else I should look for? I suggest that you speak to Ji Chiong first. She's an adventurer hired by the Ministry and was once a miner here. She knows the chasm's geography like the back of her hand. Also, let me write you a certification real quick. When she sees it, she'll know that you're trustworthy. That said, I must warn you that Ji Tiong is definitely not the sort of person who has trouble standing still and definitely has no thoughts of undoing the array and having a look underground. Okay, she definitely wants to destroy this array. So there's no way that she would ever put a team of idle adventurers together to brazenly enter hazardous areas. As such, you can forget about asking her to help you enter the chasm's mines. This guy certainly feels like he's not allowed to tell me to do something, so he's doing it in a way that tells me that he really wants me to do it. Um, got it. D did you really? Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> as long as you understand, we're good, in which case I won't take any more of your time. This guy wants the array destroyed so that the... Yeah. Hey! Oh my gosh, if I could type, that'd be phenomenal. I still have documents to deliver to the Ministry of Civil Affairs today. Yeah. Great. Moving on. Um, yeah, okay, so this dude didn't actually tell me what to do with this thing. He didn't actually give me a quest, did he? Oh yes he did. There. The chasm delvers. Navigate. Except I was totally going towards the big shiny red shit. But we're here. We're finally yet to learn. This is what I wanted in the end anyway. Hi, Ji Tiong. Ji. Ji Tiong. Ji. Ji Tiong. I can never get this pronunciation correct. It's so unnatural for my mouth. Hi. Ah, it's you. Hello there. Why does everybody bloody know me? Minning was the one who introduced me. I know it's not how you pronounce it. It's just it's easier. Um, this is his, yes, yes, forget that sheet of paper. I already know who you are just fine. That muning. All he does is put on airs and write papers. Everything's got to follow this or that procedure and all that tripe. You know, stuff that makes you look important. I couldn't get less of that stuff. In any case, your name is already well known throughout the Adventurers Guild. Never mind any of your other contributions to Liyua. I'm that famous. Well, this is me we're talking about. Ha 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 ha, narcissism, isn't it great? Uh, that's right, with legendary duo, Lunara and Paimon. Of course, many new recruits of the guild have heard of your exploits on Dragonspine from Iris. <laughs> that includes me, you know. Fuck, who was Iris? Don't know. Piercing the verge of Blizzard to open a path, discovering an ancient, forgotten kingdom. Oh, is Iris the one at the camp at the base of the mountain? Yeah, that's probably it. Forgotten kingdom beneath the ice and frost, reaching the perilous summit, confronting the great change that came over that place with a mortal form. The things you've experienced, the obstacles you've overcome, the truths you've uncovered, they can be summed up in one word. Adventure. True adventure. That's technically three words. Uh, someone give me a compass. Precisely. Wow, this is actually quite a shock to Paimon. I'd be really that awesome. Ha, we know. <laughs> and this isn't even mentioning the great battle you had with that sea monster on the Jade Chamber. I mean, uh, they only ever reference one of them. Does the game not know I've done two great battles on the Jade Chambers against two great sea monsters? No, it never counts the second one. Or it counts the second one, doesn't count the first one. A little confused about which one she's referencing. The other dude referenced the second one, so I'm going to assume she's referencing the second one. But like, hey, the first one was way better. Anyway, that wasn't that a way to sit, mind you, but I haven't missed a single telling of that story. Huh, so there are stories about us too. You, you I was expecting that to happen, Paimon. You weren't. Of course, they're very popular in the city, you know. 
If you ask me, I'd say that Tea Master Liu Su and Iron Tang Tian are both good in their own way, but I just prefer Iron. Huh? Uh, I'm not too familiar with the storytelling tradition. Oh, don't worry, I get it, I get it. She's really going on a tangent. We really need to focus on what's happening in front of us, Du Tiong. Oh, don't worry, I get it, I get it. Iron Tang Tian's style is definitely not for everyone. I do sometimes find that his choice of words and phrases feature too much slang. But as for Liu Su, he takes a while to get going, you know? Sometimes you're there for two hours before you start going, oh, hey, this is pretty good. God, that's a long time to sit there doing nothing. Some people like that style, but I find it uninteresting. And if you mean to say that if this is just a story, it won't get stale, let me just say this. If this were food or drink we were talking about, it would surely go bad if we wrapped it up and covered it for half a day without opening it. I think I said that I wasn't all that interested. To yeah, I'll just cough politely. Oh, you were right. So I'm going to throw it. Uh, no, actually, I've got a shit ton of phlegm in there. It's making me cough, making me talk funny. It's not the most pleasant experience ever. You can blame COVID for that. Oh, hey, did COVID start here in Liyue? <laughs> no, no, it's probably just a case of too much information. Um, sorry, I got a bit excited there. I didn't really consider if you were interested in what I was saying. Hey, she has self-awareness. This is great. Still, since you're here, Lenara, why does she know my name? Are you here to at the Qixing's behest? Uh, n no, I'm not actually, but hey, let's go destroy their structures just because. Did Minning end up revealing some other information to you? Um, you know, like... Don't touch the bedrock keys. There's nothing under the chasm. Jie Chung won't help you. You know, stuff like that, repeated over and over. I mean, he didn't need to tell us all that. Ha! <laughs> well, he didn't scare us. <laughs> Indeed, he wasn't doing that at all. Yeah, no, he was egging us on. So all the things he mentioned are true. Well, Muning is, in the end, a specialist hired by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Even if he wanted to ask for help, there's a lot that he's not allowed to reveal in public. So he can only warn us, and thus impart the means of getting into the chasm to you in a roundabout way. In essence, when he says, you shouldn't, he really means, you can. What a weird guy. He's just donning his eyes and crossing his T's. He's doing everything he's allowed to do. In any case, he also mentioned that he wrote you a certification and told you to come by me. That note which you now carry means that you have the authori authorization to travel through the chasm without any obstruction. Of course, barring any personal inter intervention by the Qixing. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting point to make. Will the Qixing come here? Ugh, they're going to be happy that I'm destroying their seals. And the fact that he suggested that you find me means that I should tell you the way into the depths of the chasm. <clears throat> what a convoluted way of hinting. Well, for what it's worth, I apologize for all the covering up that we're doing. But trust me, we have very good reasons for doing so. I don't think there's any good reason for destroying a seal that was put there by very important people and very strong people for a reason that we don't know, but it's probably really important. And, and destroying that probably isn't the best idea. So, no, I don't think you have very good reasons, but I'm going with it because it's going to be interesting. While well, the thing that they dug up under the chasm is truly abnormal. Does she actually knows what it is? How does she know what it is? The information was sealed so that no one knows. How did she find out? Our investigations cannot be done without too much pomp and ceremony, lest the people be alarmed. That is a teaching standing order. As such, we can only function under the cover of a no-entry order, secretly gathering explorers and scholars to enter the chasm and conduct investigations. This is all to, if necessary and where possible, stave off the crisis that festers beneath the earth. So all the people at the encampment were... That's right, they were all brought on as support staff. They're all pretty reliable. Uh, well, mostly. That you came here is also no coincidence. Who placed... Wait, Catherine said that Muning placed... The commission. Interesting. More than one big shot and the Qixing has already recommended that we enlist your aid. So the Qixing are doing this all as a cover. They want their seal to be broken and the thing dealt with. Okay. They could have just bloody asked. And honestly, we have little reason not to comply. In any case, it is also said that your aid is not necessarily difficult to enlist. <laughs> You're not wrong, we're pretty easy. Does that mean... Doesn't that mean we were tricked? Uh, oh, is that how it is? See you then. Eh? Aren't we at least going to ask them what they're offering? Please wait. I was just passing on my superior's message. Who's her superior? Do you mean in the, the Qixing? Or do you mean in the, um... <sighs> Metro's Guild. That's her words, not mine. Just, uh, let me take those words back, alright? Hm. Come now. This is the Qixing we're talking about. They won't shortchange you for your aid. It's not as if I'm short on more or anything. True that. I don't exactly need help putting up missing the potions. <laughs> eh. 
Paimon too. Well, that said, having more mora isn't a bad thing. Paimon, you don't have any mora. You don't even have pockets. That said, neither do I. Well, if we can mitigate the safety hazards in the chasm, any underground treasures or valuables will be given to the one who discovers them. This is a special privilege, privilege given by the Qixing, just to the two of you. Really? No tricks now? Well, in that case. And Paimon's treasure time begins once again. That's right, treasure. Ha, huh, alright, alright. Can we safely say you've accepted this commission then? It's weird that this is marked as like a side quest as opposed to main quest, but um, uh, we'll do it for the treasure. Ooh, new treasure. Alright, here's to a new adventurer then. Again, let me apologize for wasting your time on all these other things. Let's get down to business, shall we? If you wish to enter the chasm, we first need to find an adjuvant made from a material known as lumen stone. Adjuvant. Mm-hmm. Only with it can we move in the dark down there. I'm going to assume it's a light, given that's called lumen stone. Only those with visions can use this adjuvant, but considering that you can use elemental energies without a vision, it's my guess that you should have no problem making use of the adjuvant. God, the fact that that is common knowledge is kind of scary. So, where do we find this thing? It's in a warehouse to the south. The warehouse is well guarded, so it should be pretty secure. Just come back once you've gotten a hold of the catalyst. Okay. Okay, and deleting because it just stays in the corner of my conversation for a very long time. Oh, she wants me to go back there. Oh, but honey, I want to go to the big shiny red ship. I want a map. I just want a map. Why is it so hard? 